Hi, and welcome back to Ted's Perkins with Ryan. Today, I'll be doing the Miami Open Tournament for the men. Um, part one, top half. Before we get into this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Let's just get right into it. Starting off with this first quarter here, we have um, Medvedev, Opelka, Evans, Lajovic, and some um, American names at, like Query, um, Opelka, and Tiafo. The first match we have is Query versus Lou, and I think Query will win it in straight sets. Next, we have Lopez versus Poppyman, and I think um, this is a battle of old versus new. For example, because Poppyman's like on the rise right now, and then Lopez is on the decline. So I think I'm going to take Poppyman in straight sets over Lopez. Tiafo versus Chavaglia. Um, close match, interesting one, but I think Tiafo will get it done in straight sets. And then Qualifier versus Qualifier. Um, qualifier will, will win. Um, Medvedev versus Query. Um, this this is a pretty interesting match. This is a this is an American tournament, so there could be a lot of American men and women who make nice who make big runs here with the support of the crowd and some motivation to do good for the country. This and where this could happen where Query knocks out Medvedev in this early stage, but. And I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Medvedev will hold him off in three sets in advance to the um, third round. And Poppyman versus Opelka. Going to be a close match there, but I think at the end of the day, Opelka's serve is just monstrous, and Poppyman's not going to be able to break enough to win the match. Um, Tiafo versus Evans. Like I said, American men can do really well in this tournament, and I think Tiafo will pull off the upset. Pull off the upset. Went, beat Evans in straight sets. In advance to the third round. Um, and then a qualifier versus Lajovic. I'm um, Lajovic in straight sets. Medvedev versus Opelka. I'm going to go with um, Medvedev in straight sets. As good as Opelka's serve is, I don't think he'll be able to beat um, Medvedev. I, I think that Query will be a tougher um, match for Medvedev than Opelka. But the, saying this, I think it's going to still be a three-set match, but it'll be more loose and Medvedev will comfortably win. And Tiafo Lajovic, I'm going to go with Tiafo for another upset and advance to the, sweet, the round 16 uh, and advance and play Medvedev. I think Tiafo will get it done and have a big big, um, big tournament here. On to the, uh, in the next quarter, we have Felix Auger, Yassim, John Isner, Struff, and Matisse Agu. Um, Pierre, who's Herbert versus Pedro Sosa, I'm going to take PHH. Just because Sosa can be kind of inconsistent some occasionally, and I think um, Herbert is just going to play pretty well. Um, Poppy Seal versus Qualifier. Poppy Seal straight sets. Um, a Qualifier versus Broncos. Broncos is getting w a lot older, and I don't think Broncos will advance. He's He's been playing okay, but he just hasn't been in these tournaments and like been winning matches, so I'm going to go with a Qualifier. Um, Harris versus a uh, qualifier. Harris just had that great weekend in Dubai. He beat team. He made it all the way to the finals, losing to Karatsev. But t what a great match, a great tournament for him. I think he'll continue in that and continue this hot streak and beat the qualifier in straight sets. Um, Felix Auger, the Essene versus Hughes Herbert. I'm going to take Felix Auger in straight sets. And then Poppy Seal versus Isner. Close match there, but I think Isner will... Sneak it out in two close sets. Um, Struve versus a qualifier. Struve has been really going, like, declining, right? I feel like um, I'm gonna go with a qualifier in a in a nice up in a nice upset for the for him. I'm hoping it'd be an uh, American qualifier. I feel like that'd be good to see. You know, maybe Escobedo um, or for Tangelo. But I think if one, if one if one of those people get put in this in that spot, they'll have a pretty pretty good run. Um, and then Harris versus Agu, going to be a very, very interesting match here, but I think this could go either way. But I'm actually going to take Bautista Agu over Harris in a three-set battle that leaves Bautista Agu tired, but not worn out. Um, and then Felix Auger Lassim versus Isner. I think another American man doing well, American man doing well I'm going to take Isner in three sets. And then a qualifier versus Bautista Agu, Bautista Agu straight sets. Um, the third quarter here, we have Zverev, Vasilashvili, Sinner. 
Gaston, John, Stevie Johnson, um, Alcaraz versus Uzvori. A wild card. I think Uzvori will get it done, though. Uzvori's been pretty consistent. He came out of nowhere, and he won, like, commit to the round 32 at, um, I want, it, it either was the French Open or the U.S. Open, but one or the other. But he played massively well, and now he's kind of put himself into the picture, so I think Uzvori will, will be able to get the win over a also up-and-coming Al- Carlos Alcaraz. A qualifier, or um, y- Michael Yamayer, I think a qualifier straight sets. Um, Gaston Kofer. Kofer has had a pretty good run. He made it to all the way to the semifinals of Acapulco before losing to the eventual champion, Zverev. But I think Gaston is, will get the win. I don't know. I feel like he's been just... just Testing everybody, but not being able to get the results that he's looking for. Um, Stevie Johnson versus Hanfman. Stevie Johnson straight sets. Zaver Ruzvori. Um, Zaver straight sets. Zaver has just been playing a monster recent lately. And qualifier versus Basilashvili. Basilashvili shocked everybody when he came when he came and won. Um, I feel like it was Doha, but I think it was Doha. So, but I think he's just not gonna. He's gonna have this that well, that one win to be proud of, and then I don't, I don't think he's gonna get much for the rest of the year. So I'm gonna take the qualifier in straight sets over Basile Shirley. Sinner Gaston, I'm gonna take Sinner straight sets. Close match, but Sinner is just unbelievable. And Stevie Johnson versus Karen Kachanov. Um, honestly, with to be honest with you, Kachanov's been having some pretty good results, making quarterfinals here. But I'm actually gonna take Johnson over Kachanov just in a. Just, just, just with the fact that he has the crowd behind him, I feel like it's gonna be so pivotal. Because if you think about all these players and playing with no one watching them for months and months, and getting some some motivation behind you, I think it's really gonna motivate everybody to do better and and get like better results. And and onto this final quarter here, we have Dimitrov, Cameron Norrie, Tommy Paul, Taylor Fritz, Bublik, Goffin. Cameron Norrie versus Nishioka, two underrated players. Both I both think these guys are gonna have a, have a pretty successful career. But I'm gonna go Nori in close in three close sets. Um, Marcos Hiron versus Tommy Paul. Good match here, but Tommy Paul should easily stake out the win. Vesley versus Dare. Both these players are older. Both these players are kind of getting like lower ranks, but I think Vesley will will win it. He's in. Vesley has been like getting draws, but like, he wins like one match and then loses to a seed. The next next one, I think, this will happen here. And then Duckworth, which is a qualifier. Um, I'm gonna take a qualifier. Dimitrov versus Nori. Um, close match there, but Dimitrov I think will be able to win in straight sets. And then Tommy Paul versus Taylor Fritz. Taylor Fritz straight sets. Um, Bublik versus Vesley. Bublik will will destroy him. And then qualifier versus Goffin. I'm gonna take a. I'm going to take a golf in straight sets. Um, Dimitrov versus Fritz. Let's do... Um, I'm actually going to take Fritz. Again, I'm, I'm going to keep repeating this, but Fritz, the, the crowd is supposed to meet too much, and Dimitrov won't be able to pull out the win. Three sets, but Fritz will advance to, to the round, six, round of 16. Um, Bublik versus Goffin. Close match. Bublik's uh, moving up in the ranks, but and I think he'll be able to beat um, Goffin. Into the court, uh, into the round of sixteen here. We have Medvedev, Tiafo, Isner, Batista, Gu, Zavera of Sinner, Fr- and Fritz Bublik. Um, Medvedev, Tiafo, Medvedev straight sets. Tiafo's run will come to an end as Medvedev will comfortably um, advance. And Isner, Batista, Gu, going to be an interesting match there if it happens. But it, I think Isner will not be able to keep up, and Batista, Gu will fight his way to a victory. And advance to the quarterfinals. Zverev Sinner, amazing match there, but I think Zverev has just been playing too well for Sinner to come and knock him out. Three sets though, but Zverev will be able to win. And then Fritz Bublik, I'm gonna take Bublik in straight sets. Bublik's been just just been he's so unbelievable. I'm gonna my two favorite players right now on the tour are Bublik and Sinner. Both these players will win multiple Grand Slams once um the the ATP is more wide open. Both these players are amazing, and I think they're starting at such a good time, you know. But anyway, into the quarterfinals here, we have Medvedev, Bautista, Agu. And I think Medvedev will... I'm sorry, not Medvedev. 
But he's like, we'll finally tire out, and Medvedev will just walk all over him and advance. And Zverev, Bublik, Zverev, I just, Zverev's been playing amazingly. And Zverev, Medvedev, Z- um, Zverev will take down Medvedev in straight sets. Medvedev had a pretty tough, um, if, 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 let's just say I get a perfect bracket, Medvedev has a really tough draw for him. Query, Opelka, Tiafa, three ama- amazing American men, right on the off, right off the bat. And then Bautista Gu, really it upset Meeker. And then Zverev, who he'll fi- eventually lose to. Assuming, again, that my bracket's perfect. Um, and yeah, um, again, part two of this with the bottom half will be out later today. And thank you for watching, everybody. Um, make sure to hit like, that like button and subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. And last thing, um, the women's tournament will be in the link to, of the description down below. So go watch that. It has um, the, all my, my predictions on who wins the women's tournament. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for watching.